She, she did, what, what, uh, what, more, con- what did she say? More context. She said Imogen. So she's alive? I mean, I, 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 she's gotta be, right? If she's responding, she's gotta be. This is wonderful. Maybe she's at Eos. That was where she was last seen. Can you send messages across other dimensions? I, I don't know. I don't know exactly how it works. I just, but yes, I think so. <laughs> oh. I think I can. I think I can. I'm not sure. Fucking pigeons. That doesn't mean you can't, yes. There's a 5% chance yes. that it doesn't go through. This whole time, it's been her in your dreams. I've always heard her voice. Oh, oh God. Oh, God. Fern punches in her sleep sometimes. <laughs> yeah. I think she's awake. <laughs> I should probably find out where she, where is, she is. And if she's safe, Sorry. and if we can see her, right? How are you feeling about it? You know, I haven't really processed that just yet. Sure. Just think about it for a second. I do start doing my usual routine. I go and pour a little glass of nice cold water, bring it over to her, and deep breath. So to send a message. Are you all right? Where are you? Where have you been? I just kind of let the final words linger and hope for a response. The anxiety begins to build and, and fear that that might be the last of it. Then you hear her voice come through again. I'm fine. Imogen, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for how long I've been gone. I'm okay. Are you okay? Why well, she just keep asking questions? She knows I gotta keep. All right. Just wearing it down. She didn't say where she was. She didn't say where she was. That's how it feels like the most important thing that we kind of would like to know. Oh, great, but yeah, right. It's like one of those weird conversations where it's like, how are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm yeah. good. And yeah. Yeah. Okay, right. okay, last, I can call her and I can talk to you one more time. Okay. If I'm being honest, things are hard. You might know that already. Where are you? I want to see you. Can I see you? I'm okay. How are you? <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry it's hard. I'm sorry for cursing you with this burden. I left because I was a danger. I couldn't stay without knowing what I am. You begin to hear her voice in your head once more. She casts a sending spell in your direction. She's got powers. I don't know what powers. You can't see me because you need to stay safe. And the further from me you are, the safer you'll be. Far from me in this destiny. This destiny has caught up with me, regardless of where you are physically. It's all happening. I could use your help and your knowledge. Another sending spell comes to you from her. I love you, Imogen, more than you'll ever know. And that's why you have to run away from me, Imogen, as far as you can. Run. I'm tired of running, Mother. Oh, God, I feel like I missed something great. Did I do that? No, he did it to himself. Uh, he did it to himself? Well, I, I apparently he, oh. there was a flare situation, oh, and he ripped off all of his skin, oh, like, a, like a coat. Situation. Oh, All right, I'll, I'll, I'll heal him. <laughs> Thank you, Doc Bob. Okay, come on. Oh. This might be. I heal him. Will I get to go back fine. to sleep and get the full healing. Yeah, yeah okay, okay, good. Uh, <laughs> you get it for two hours. You're, you're going wow. to live, Chetney. I will heal you. I come here. What are you doing? Over Chetney's mouth and nose. Nope, go back to sleep. Go back to sleep. Nope, nope. No one wants to fucking hear it. Yeah, quiet down or I'm gonna swatch you with this shield again. <laughs> 17 you points of heal. <gasps> well, you guys fought the... <laughs> Hello, my baby! <laughs> you guys were fighting? I mean, yeah. all my clothes are shredded up. Yeah. I'm gonna need something new. Yeah, so, so, so no, any oh, moment oh, she could swim. What? Yeah, what do you mean? I would never, I would never. You're like me, if except likable. Don't even. Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> but also, doesn't it feel like every good thing that happens to us, there's a bad thing that happens? We lost Laudna. We gained Laudna. We lost Estros. We lost Estros. We gained his airship. <laughs> well, I oh, mean, no. I don't call that a positive. But like, you find out your mother's alive, and then Chetney tries to kill everybody. Elastic, amazing discovery. Yeah, yeah I'm not above working with other pliant <laughs> materials. But that's like a good thing. But yeah. then he tried to kill us. So like, it just feels like. I don't know. I don't know what it means. I'm just. <coughs> We're not big on having a streak of anything. I mean. Oh, like days gone without an incident? We could get one of those signs whipped up real quick. 
Maybe you can whittle that, right? Yeah, no problem. Oh, yeah, with like little flaps flips that we can use. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Numbers, yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll admit the volume seems to have gotten very loud on the sort of bad and good that I'm used to, but lots of bad isn't unusual. No, I was just <laughs> seeing if there was some type of connection, but well, there is, because your root yeah, is your born. Your family's all, your root is born, your family's fucking around with the Nightmare King, he's trying to build a telescope somewhere or do something to the moon. Yeah, but I, Orm has him tattooed on his arm. Who? Orm. Oh, oh. Orm, he's in our group. I don't know. <laughs> I don't oh, know anybody's just... name. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the moons are on your, your arm. The, the moon guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know that. Just got a pants check me once in a while. Man, I'm so <laughs> jealous. I, I will admit I really wanted to punch a werewolf. <laughs> I'm really hoping I get the opportunity. It's really, it's nothing. I, I actually, I actually like him. Please don't tell him that. <laughs> Please. Yeah, he's a good egg. Yeah, he's fun. I like fun. Captain, do you have any kind of, um, like, manacles or restraints? I have a bit of a fidgeting problem in my sleep, and I tend to st strike out in deep REM sleep. I'm pretty sure we got something like that. Uh, hold on. Maybe asleep. Is Khalil awake? Someone to wake up, Khalil. Yes, you're right. You are inquiring a question, if you don't mind me asking. It's like, yes, uh, we're looking for some sort of medical chain, something that can hold somebody down or buff from, uh, you know, fidgeting in their sleep, I yeah, suppose. Yeah. Yes, we did something like that, so I'll be right back. And he kind of like wipes his eyes and heads down below deck, coming back with, indeed, a, a pair of manacles and uh, what looks like a, uh, a lock that is on them, but it is not unlocked at the moment. Brings it up and kind of sets them down on the deck. <laughs> the heavy chains kind of clatter across the wood. These are um, just in case we have to take anyone in prison or we have these at ready. Um, I have the key. Is this for you, Zendis? No, no, this is for the tiny guy. I'm, I'm a very violent sleeper. Would you mind if I borrowed them while we are on our journey? You can have them back as soon as we land, uh, just, you know. I mean, technically they belong to the ship, so they belong to you, if I'm not oh, great. mistaken. So, yeah, that's... Yes. Pulls the key out and hands it to you. You now have a pair of lockable manacles with a key. Nice. nice. How heavy are they? Are they just carryable? Not they're heavy. carryable. Yeah. Okay. They're just they're they're strong enough to where they you would be you have to work real hard and real long to try and saw them off. Thank you. Much appreciated. So each night I will find a corner of the hull quarters to throw it over a bar or so, a solid beam and lock it. Maybe I get it up here so I can mm. sleep. Oh, God, you got it. Okay. <laughs> what? Yeah, I'm just not. in case anyone wants to cuddle. <laughs> <laughs> You're not hanging yourself by your neck. No, my, okay. my hands. Just I, 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 the miming was very confusing <laughs> to me. I thought it was like a David Put the hand on the Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, I am going to hit it with a scorching Marisha Ray. <laughs> so they called me in high school. <laughs> you know. Right? So I've got. Gonna look around and see it's all the chaos happening around her, and all of a sudden she closes her eyes and opens them back up, and they're they're bright red. Ooh, what? And as she she just closes her eyes to all of it, she puts her hands to the side of her head, and red entity starts to form. This odd little pocket in the air just kind of seems to flare like a, like a spiral of red energy. And as it shh, empties outward, this creature pulls through, made of like red material. It looks humanoid, but it's not fully there. It just kind of like wisps of red energy. It has kind of an elongated head, almost like it kind of stretches back wider and longer than a, though thin at the front, like than a human skull. Like, like a half xenomorph, if you will. It's a red spell. It just kind of emerges. Excuse me! What do you mean? What It's, it's semi transparent okay. and it just kind of like stands there and kind of like glides in the space next to Imogen. I'm sorry? And I'm going to look over at it and just think at it. Attack. Looks over at you. Like you didn't, don't see features. There's no eyes, no face. It's just like red energy that's kind of like wispy and not fully there as it kind of turns back and goes to strike towards the creatures. Attack it with two Eldritch Blasts. Do it. <clears throat> it impacts the bottom of the jaw of the goat, and you watch this jaw kind of like dislodge from the impact of the force, slamming the other side of the goat head. One of its horns breaks off and goes flying off the side of the ship. I'm going to quicken a spell. Oh. I want to, oh, don't, oh, don't, no, don't make it sad. sad. It's in pain. But is he smart enough? Don't worry about the chimera, jeez! <laughs> it's I'm a gonna, bird, kill it. 20 total. Okay, well, it's 4d10 damage. Oh. So 4D10. 
Ooh, right. that'll do it. Yeah, that, that might do it. That might do it. Takes two actions to load and fire, but it does some pretty decent damage if you can hit. 19. Total. 19. How do you want to do this? Hey! So this is a massive ballista bolt. It's about five and a half, almost six feet long, oh like solid metal with like a, like a hooked blade at the front. Almost point blank range. Oh, and you're, right. It's like 10 feet from you. You just <laughs> release it. I'm just going to make a kebab. So it's just going to go straight through and then straight through the dragon's mouth. Okay. It starts to fly up a bit. And then suddenly the rest of you hear this and watch as its wings just out. The impact of it sends it tumbling up and over the edge. Damn. And it just falls out of the sky like a like a gnat that was swatted, and you watch it just vanish into the sky below and off the side. Oh, oh yeah. That was a bit much. I, what, wow. Get oh. off my aerosol. Get <laughs> off my airship. What did it feel like when it bled your nose? Oh, it's like all the boys and girls of the world were trying to give me their toy orders at the same time. <laughs> Like as if one mind could handle such a thing <laughs> and not be corrupted by it. It feels very specific. The jungles of A. Shenador. Oh. <laughs> Did you fart out just, of your mouth? <laughs> that sure fucking felt like it. <laughs> that was so weird. <laughs> I'm Matt, real sorry, really, man. You really set the mood. Uh, I don't know why I try. I was trying to keep it on the quiet here. You got half a sentence out. <laughs> and Ashley vomited her kidney on the table. Look, Takes me back. Look, That's a vibe. Look. <laughs> I'm hollow inside now, guys. There's nothing left. I wasn't looking. All I heard was a fart. <laughs> I was really trying to make that quiet. It's all good. So all I think right, that's why. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Someone roll a d20, please. <laughs> and the storm. Is to take over here. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Shit, you never put your clothes back on. Mm-hmm. I'm fine. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> He's wielding four chisels. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> two chisels, two glass cutters. <laughs> Do you like being a werewolf? I do. I mean, it's exciting. It's new. It's invigorating. Plus, my senses are so heightened, I can smell everything, hear everything. I mean, I was pretty perceptive before, but it's not like this. What do I smell like? Just dead. All right. Um, mm. But not dead. It's strange. Mm. What do I smell mm. like? Something crisp, like a little, there's almost like a tartness on it. It's interesting. Okay, I can't believe I'm asking this. What do I smell like? You have a very earthy scent. Well, like limestones, a little bit of shale, like marble. Thank you. Um, and, and, and a couple of like some of the harder woods. Yeah. Petrified wood. Well, it's a very I, similar I, smell. I do I do oil and occasionally I'll use uh, wood oil. Uh, that it's will fun. happen like a lemon. Yeah, yeah. It didn't go well before, so I'm hoping for some instruction maybe. Did they kick you out? Kind of. Did they kick your ass? No. No, but I was given a like a kind of a warning. Kind of an ultimate. What, what do you mean? What kind of an ultimate? Elaborate. Well, it's a. They consider it a gift, but it's something they keep kind of contained. So if you're careless with it, or if it starts to spread, you know they'll rein that in sometimes. Hey, what does that mean? Were you spreading it? No, no, I haven't been, but I think there are times where it can kind of run amok, and people get the wrong idea and are careless with the the gift. So if you would have potentially bitten. Yeah. That would be bad. I, I think it's transmit. But that's how I got it. You were bitten. Yeah. By who? By Gurge. No, I was. I was just trapping for food in the Savalier Wood. I made my way south out of Uthadur, and so I was just living, doing my own, surviving. Inside check. Um, it's just the truth. Inside check. <laughs> <laughs> That's a Travis inside check. So then would that werewolf be in trouble for spreading it since they bit you? Oh, I killed that werewolf. How? I'm pretty crafty, but he was already a little fucked up. Anyway, he bit me, I killed him, and then he changed back, and that seemed strange. And then there was a group of people that I think were hunting him. Post-mortem, he changed back? Yeah. What? And then did the hunters hunt you instead? No. No, they... I think that's kind of where the the choice comes in. They give you a chance to, you know, try and control it or see if it's going to go the wrong way. Some people just lose themselves to it, I guess. They just they get so excited by the primal nature of it, you know. You can how, see. How Sorry. quick did it set in? Calm down. Uh, the first the first moon. What do you mean the the person who attacked you was 
fucked up. Oh, uh, he was already kind of damaged. Oh, oh, I see. I yeah, see. You, you, I caught him in a trap, and when I went over there, it was just kind of dark, and I tried to finish him off, and fucking hit me, and he bit me, and I stabbed him in the neck, and then I opened him up from navel to bed, and, you know, and I just showered in all of it. <laughs> oh, so you were like that before the wolf? I thought maybe that was what Look, made I take you it to the limit. Okay, I don't have any half measures. It's all or nothing at 400 plus years old. Okay, 500. What did I say? You're 500 years old? I'm pretty sure it's 500. Roll a D100. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty clear that I am 700 years old. <laughs> so wise. Yeah. When we run into the Gorgine, mm -hmm. what do you want us to do? Do you want us to, like, just stand behind you and, like, look badass? Do you want to double that? You take the lead, of well, course. Well, you know, I think, like, animal behavior is kind of a place, so you don't have to be totally submissive, but maybe, you know, just a little uh, acknowledgement just, of them. If animal behavior's at play, does that mean that you're gonna have to challenge the alpha for respect N or anything? No, no, not unless I wanted to be the alpha. Well, you are the alpha, it doesn't say that on your arm? Recognize the alpha, recognize, I mean, no, most people would not look at me and think, yep, there goes an alpha. You have to find it inside of yourself, recognize it in your day-to-day -day life. FCG, there's an alpha in all of us. Even in me? Sure, you don't have to be subservient to anyone. But that doesn't mean we're gonna not be subservient to the Gorgine, because oh, they'll okay. fucking tear our heads off. <laughs> All right. Right. It's uh, yeah. I don't want to lead them. I want to learn from them. I think and maybe recruit them into our cause. Yeah, it's it's like still stable. It Sorry. is still raining on you. Yeah. It's it feels stable. Yeah. It feels stable enough where you're standing. Okay. Did you ask the same question? Oh, we did. Time, and yeah. We apologized to each other that he asked the same question. <laughs> oh, <shit. laughs> it was pretty great. It was pretty great. Uh, okay. I thought you were clarifying for me multiple times. Uh, I was like, I, I get it, I get it. Jeez. The same wavelength. <laughs> um, but it does offer momentary shelter from the. <laughs> God. It does offer momentary shelter. That is so oh. good. This guy. Humble, if nothing else. If nothing else. <laughs> you should have given the award her shoes. <laughs> <laughs> that is the best part. That is the best part. That would have been amazing. <laughs> yeah. All right. Classical. The howl is piercing. And at the same time, resonant. Uh, ten. Nothing. I'm sure it takes a minute. <laughs> Maybe the thunder is like drowning you out. You. I suppose it's just my pride. All right, fine. Team effort. <laughs> I'm a wolf. All right. So I'm a wolf. Just I'm a wolf. I'm a wolf. You can all join too on the count of three. One, three. <laughs> Okay. Let us, do you know what a wolf is? <laughs> beep, beep, bloop, bloop, bleep. God damn it. That one sounded hurt. That one's good. That's a baby. <gasps> Different sounds all seem to echo at distances you're unaware of. Far, but just barely audible by your acute hearing senses. I take out Pate. I used to do this with you all the time. Yay! Do an interpretive dance for me. You, you throw him in the fire? No, you Dance for Mama. Shit, Mama. Sing for me. And make a little um, shadow puppets on the on the wall. Do a little dance. All right, all right. So, uh, give me a theme. Something to work with. Oh, all right, well. We're in this this old tower where there used to be a war back in the Apex War. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So give me give me a tale of battle and death and horror. I need some music. He <laughs> 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 just goes into the starts so going into this very <laughs> this, oh, oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> this oddly disjointed, horrifying, but. <laughs> Beautiful journey of 
<laughs> no, it's real bad. It's 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 incomprehensible. It, you can't. At times, you think either he's dancing or he's having uh, a physical issue. You're uncertain, <laughs> but he seems into it at the very least. And you see, as stepping out of the rain, hood up, a humanoid figure, wide shoulders, looks like in one hand is a giant hammer, just this massive iron head on it, and this like tightly leather wrapped long handle. It's probably close to seven feet long. It looks to be about a six and a half foot tall figure. Steps through, uh, and you can see what looks to be dark gray brown hide armor. The cloak itself is a jet black, and beneath the hood, you can see what looks to be the the snout of a deep red orange tiger. Deep red orange tiger? It is a weird tiger. What? Tiger. What? The hood pulls back. You can see, like the kind of like wild spiked hair, it's like this this mane that curls back over the tiger head. Now, the eyes now with this low light is just the firelight hitting it, and it's causing that unique kind of flash of glow and color as it shifts its head, looking and taking all of you in. Five other figures step, kind of surrounding your troop. Uh, lithe, thin, what looks to be a panther, like anthrope with jet black fur. Um, one kind of milky white eye, and what looks to be dark brown leathers with two short swords, kind of out to the sides. So this kind of like leans in, dressed in pale gray leather with metallic bracers. Another werewolf. Uh, this one with a, a wide back and what looks to be like a stocky center. And this one has a heavy crossbow in its grasp, and it's kind of like. Leans forward. I have a living right now. Beyond that, you see another werewolf. One massive were boar with like a dark, a, a dark gray kind of wiry tuft fur across its body and a large snout with tusks that curl outward, as well as what looks to be a massive bipedal grizzly bear of a man. <gasps> we're, we're in centaur world. Um, this is an awesome. I say in my head to Everyone. everybody. <laughs> Show me your true self. Yeah, bitch! And I'll grab my thighs and like Magic Mike, I just fucking <laughs> 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 Oh God. And I just start like a fucking flash dance. Oh, and I pull, I go over and I pull on a branch and like rain falls down. Yep. Yeah. Like, <laughs> <shit. laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> He's gonna live for me. He's gonna live for me. the head kind of cocked to one side. Sure. Detect <laughs> thought. Okay, the first surface thought you get is what the fuck? Is this? <laughs> <laughs> like, there's, there's an amusement there, but definitely a like, okay. You hold yourself like you have seen some training, and I can see scars along your body. This is not your first encounter with Hemocraft, is it? No, it's not. You have taken the Hunter's Bane already. I have. Welcome to the Gorgine. Now, there is much to learn and much to train. Many weeks to work on how we can hone your abilities and tackle the seed of this discomfort and uncontrolled beast within. Week, weeks? You don't happen to have like a weekend seminar or, you know, like a, a downloadable PDF? These words make no sense to my right. ears. Sorry. <clears throat> your your name? It's nice to meet you, my uh I'm a Tarad Cornet. Me and a few other people who live here, caretakers of My my name is Chetney Pacopi. We're we're the Bell's Hells. Thank you for your hospitality. Of course, it's it's nice to have another gnome around here. Yeah. Do everyone in the village share the same gift? Gift is a word, yeah. Uh, some call it a gift. Uh, most of us just kind of get by with it. It's cursed in some cases. But yeah, we all uh, blessed by the beast. How many? Uh, uh, last I counted, live here? about 41. While they're talking, can I ask, what are the three heads? Um, it's less like three separate heads on a set of shoulders, more than it's one head and neck mm -hmm. with three snouts that come out underneath. One under the other, under the other. There's not enough detail on it to see oh, eyes shit. or anything, I but it definitely it. has a, a unique spread of like a larger extended like howling snout with a, another one beneath it, and another one beneath it, kind of all kind of spreading outward, like a fan of jaws. <laughs> well, it's nice, it's nice to meet you all. Uh, stay dry, and uh, if you're staying here for a while, how long are we staying here? Uh, yeah, well, actually, now you mention it, what do you all drink for fun around here? 
I can get you some water. It's, I, this is the, the best drink you can get around here. I don't you, think that's what he means. Do, yeah, don't, don't, don't kid. That's not funny. Oh, well, we have a cache of wine. Yeah. I, uh, uh, yeah. Went in the forest, I guess. <laughs> Uh, you said about forty-one. Do do your does your number uh, swell and and decrease uh, regularly or? Oh yeah, every few months or so, we we probably take on a few more folks that have heard about us or have been directed towards us, and then every few weeks or so, somebody decides they don't want to live under these more obscured means and go out into the world and never return, or they lose sight of their control and uh, the Gorgine have to put them down. Uh, oh. and so the numbers kind of fluctuate, I guess you could say. If you can't control it, you guys... It's fucking up this weather, it's fucking up the glasses, oh. sorry. <laughs> oh, that doesn't if, you, if, if, if you can't control it, the itch, you, you extinguish each other's lives? Well, uh, and you see the other people kind of looking at him, and he's like, when a person completely loses control of the, the gift, likely no other way to stop them from spreading it to those who don't want it or aren't ready. There's been a handful of occurrences in Cross Exandria of outbreaks. Um, the Gorgine are dedicated to preventing that from happening. What techniques do you use to keep things under control? Is it like, do you talk about it? Do you breathe? Do you meditate? Do oh, it's you, a lot of meditation, actually. Do you get in together in groups and talk about your feelings and no, stuff? No, we do. A bunch of us, uh, actually, we often travel to Zavro, and he like, kind of like stops himself for a second, and other people are like, shh, we uh, go and pray and meditate and, uh, uh, you know, uh, support each other. And uh, if it starts, feels like it's getting a little too rough, then we uh, points over and you can see there's one of them, one of the largest jungle trees that this village is built near. Its it root structure is massive and like wide, it like, spreads out wide. It's a squat tree. It's not extremely tall, but it definitely like spreads out wide. And all across it, you can see chains just wrapped all through it and around it. And they are all just kind of loosely bundled in a pile in the front now with manacles and bindings. Oh, see, oh, great, great minds. You two for two, Chad. Right? Think oh. I think a We recently started implementing the same sort of this safeguards. Is a collection of recent issues. That's all I'm thinking. For those who don't take to the uh, the hemo craft, uh, the training can take a long time. So this is just as a precaution for those, especially the newcomers who are seeking guidance. It's it's when people begin to embrace the beast without the proper training that they become dangerous. Right. I wasn't. Um, I didn't get a lot of training. It was just kind of a. I was just naturally adept. Maybe I embraced it in the right way. That's why they let me go in the first place. That's why I'm looking for more. You know, refined techniques. Meditation, I guess. Oh God. But you know, whatever, whatever it takes. Well, you can, at this point, the hand falls oh. on uh, Tarad's shoulder, and you see uh, Manad, the uh, the orc with his his goatee surrounded tusks and his luscious hair, kind of comes up and goes, "No, oh, baby." Well, I guess we're about to have a conversation. Points his thumb over towards Annalyn, who steps forward. Well, I think there is something we could try. That's great. Do not know if you are ready for it, as I make no promises. Do you hold yourself in high esteem when it comes to your constitution and will? Yeah, willpower is like 10 out of 10. I appreciate confidence. Rest now, stay here for the night. For in the morning, we will walk to the temple of Sayadun, Zavrola, and if you are lucky, the spirit will meet with you and it will either excise this itch or excise you. I would be honored. I'm up to the task. Good. You all, you still a wolf? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> 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 Big lolly tongue on the side. I'm just wagging my tail. You care about this one. <laughs> you can speak yeah. freely, it's okay. You want to hear my feelings? Yeah. Yes, yeah. we do. He's and if a... he were to lose his way, you would not hesitate to put him down. Oh, oh. Um I feel bad about it later. Rich. But yeah, we would yeah. we would we would definitely take him down. Good. That's confidence on both sides. You will be challenged. You will be tested, and you will be judged, perhaps all of you. You have a night to decide whether or not we continue with this, or we never speak of this or see you again. Insight check. It's really shitty. <laughs> <laughs> no. She's so intimidating. She's a tiger. Um. <laughs> I'm a tiger. <laughs> am, I, am I able to do an yeah. insight check in my... Yeah, report? totally. Okay, okay. 17. 17. Ooh. Hey. Whispers. Ooh. 
It's going to get real wild tomorrow, I guarantee it. <laughs> Turns around and you watch <laughs> as he morphs into his were panther form and then <laughs> leaps off into the hot. distant brush. So it was pretty hot. Oh, yeah. it was just bad. I should teach him the elastic trick for his clothes, yeah, though. Yeah. <laughs> Although he's a fucking oh, sexy know, ass horse. Holy shit. Let's let, let, let that go. Yeah. So that's probably your best bet there. It's close enough for the fire where it won't get too freezing. And uh, uh, I'll hold on. And he goes back into his chamber and comes out with looks like a couple bundles of furs and mm -hmm. kind of pass over. These at least will keep you the thinner ones warm and kind of hands them all to you. I was spraying them. Oh, God. We're just smashing the. Oh, okay, yeah. Okay. What kind of fur is that? What do you do with all these is furs? It weird? It's like wolf fur or bear. Is it their skin? own fur? It is a weird. Are they make blankets out of they themselves? Hunt, oh, they say that they execute the ones who lose control. Yeah, but they turn into skin when they're dead. They Which come back some of the blankets? No, they're not skin. Yeah. <laughs> 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 <It's> a tattoo. They put the lotion in the basket. Would you hunt me? I know. Mm -hmm. uh, Don't anyway. you fucking hurt my werewolf! No. <laughs> you lay down to uncomfortably try and find rest for whatever weirdness and dangers the following day. Could we say that we hang the portable hole sideways on the tree and make a little tree cave? A tree cave? A tree cave. I love it. Yeah. yeah, let's see if we can set it up so that water doesn't get in. Yeah. Throw the blankets down. Sorry to interrupt. No worries. No, I'm into it. Nestled within your tree cave, which <laughs> your, your tree cave, which has a large pile of <laughs> materials <laughs> and <laughs> items you've gathered <laughs> that have tumbled now to the side of it. Behind uh, hole. Well, well, next character. Next character is Madeline well, Kahn. Let's call it. Please, I love it. Yeah. You bet down. Or we'll pick up our next one. Uh, this is the best! This is the cool! This is the best! best. So they made up with tree houses of the jungle, this is so cool. They're were tree houses. So were tree houses. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I know. I'm like, amazing! Is it predator animals? Primarily, yes. What if they're, they're occasional like, omnivore, herbivore? Yeah. A were no, bass. No, were, no were cows. A were bass. Were <laughs> 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 wow, that's thank you. That's, that's Why amazing. are you like this? <laughs> <laughs> what did you just do to her? My, my favorite. <laughs> Gilbert, I'm the worst. Plot, plot of one. Brought attention to this shit. On that note, <laughs> uh, thank you for joining us.